Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Flying Scorpion here with my very first post-gameplay analysis commentary. This is the game where I elite Wraith. I've got everything else three-starred with him except for one thing. I am level 38, and this is the first character that I elite. I'm up against a very tough team. I've got an elite medic, an elite assault, and an elite trapper. The medic is a very good player. I know that at least two of his other characters are eluded, the Kraken and the Wraith, because I played against him as he was playing Kraken and Wraith, and he's, he was very good at them. <coughs> the Assault does a good job doing some damage on me, and the Trapper is on my ass constantly. Constantly. Like, there is no breathing room. I'm basically tracked 95% of this match. Like, even after he's dead, I eat something and I get tracked by him. So, he's playing as ape. It's a really tough match. It's really frustrating. It's even frustrating just to watch it, but I need to learn. I need to learn how to beat good teams of hunters because uploading videos of me stomping on pubs or new players that aren't playing that good and just oh, showing off my skills, that's not going to help me get become a better player, and it's not going to help other people become a better player because it's easy to do that. It's really hard to win against really good hunters. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to point out what I can do better to actually beat these hunters. So the first thing I do is I go straight into sneaking. This is a good play. I'm sneaking and going straight towards the caves. I want to eat underneath the cover of a rooftop. Now the dam unfortunately is kind of a tough map uh, to get an evolve off on stage one um, because there aren't very many places to get a lot of food under cover. See this thing's eating that corpse but I'm going to snag this one real quick and get away before he hurts me. That was a good play. Thumbs up. I did a good job there. I see that there's a roof over top here. There's two creatures. I'm going to get out of sneak mode. I'm going to swipe. I do that because I don't want to pounce them one at a time. I can kill two of them at once with one hit because they have very low health. Continue moving. I see a three meat. I want to eat that three meat, but it's out in the open, so I come back inside the cave. I pounce attack this guy. No problem. He's going to die real quick. Here's a mistake. I should have pounce attacked that one. I forgot that the albinos have more health than the regular ones. So, I that was a little sloppy. I probably made some extra noise. That may have gave him away my position to that guy. So, I think that's actually the trapper right behind me. Thankfully, with the movement speed perk, I'm able to get away pretty quickly. I'm com coming around to try and get away. And there he is. I try to sneak through the bushes, but he sees me very clearly. He gets the tracking dart. Okay. What could I have done differently there? Instead of sneaking, I'm gonna, instead of sneaking along this edge right here, I could have, when I saw him coming around the corner, I could have turned around and gone straight back into the caves. That may have been a better way to do it. But, anyways, uh, I kind of panicked there. I thought maybe I'd take a chance, but it didn't work out. So it was just a gamble. It didn't work in my favor. So he uh, throws down the dome, but he misses me. I had all three. So that was a misplay on his part. I don't know if he realized it, but I had all three of my stamina charges ready. Um, I heard him throw down the dome, and I just went, shoot, 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 warp blast, and I was way out of range of that dome, and uh, he didn't get me. So that was a good play on my part. That was a good play, and that was a mistake on the hunter's part. Here's a mistake that I'm making. I'm focusing so much on trying to get away that I'm not actually turning around to see where they are behind me, and because of that, I make a mistake right here. I want to eat this. And he's right there. So I don't get to eat that. But now that I know where he is, I am able to kill this and eat it. Alright. So you, you do need to... And I get stuck on the terrain there. That's just bad luck, alright? That's not my fault. That's kind of just so... So I turn around, I look where they're at, and I decide I'm going to go this way to get away. I'm thinking, do I go this way or do I go that way? I change my mind, I just go this way. Moving along, there's the hide, right on my tail. I warp out of the range of the stink grenade, and, uh, you know, he's really using that stink grenade a lot. I think he's overusing it. So that's kind of a bad play on the hide's part, but whatever. I eat this. At this point, I'm deciding I'm just going to run and eat, run and eat, run and eat. Just run and eat. And whether that's the right decision, I don't know. But by running and eating, I'm making myself slow enough where the ape can catch up. Now, I think I should have stopped to eat this. If I'm running and eating, I might as well stop to eat that. I try to warp 
uh, use my stamina to warp forward. I, I hit a tree, a destructible object, and I stop right away. Let's go back just a little bit and see that. That's just bad luck again. Or I can learn from that, really. Scary birds, don't care. I'm here with a tracking dart. I guess I, did, I went back a little further than I used to. Here's the object that blocks my path. This little thing. That little thing stopped me from warping my full distance. That was a little frustrating. Taking a fight in that location may have not have been a bad idea, but again, I'm stage one. I don't want to fight right now. I just want to eat, get stage two. So there's that tracking dart again. He's doing a real good job tracking me. The hunter, the trapper, is doing an excellent job in that regard. Because he's constantly on me, I am just deciding just to eat and run, eat and run. Okay, so here's something I should have done better. If I can go back just a little bit. Yeah. I could have gone over here and gone up into the power relay. I think you can do that. No, you can't. Okay, that's just the dead end. So, hmm. Yeah, there's really no other way to go. Yeah, I may have been able to go up into there, and this is the spot we were fighting at the first, on the first dome. And uh, I'm realizing I can't get away from these guys that are going to cut me off. The trappers over here, these are not the trappers, so I can go right past them without getting domed. And I'm okay with that. So it's good having that awareness of where the hunters are, but I get domed anyway. Maybe that was the trapper. Yeah, there's the trapper in the back there. So they did a really good job of cutting me off. Oh, you know what? This is the first time they're doming me. My bad. I, I watched this replay before, and I'm getting mixed up with uh, the, the first one and, and recording and actually giving commentary. So, yeah, they got the dome off. I'm going to go back just a little bit here. I'm going to point out another mistake that I made. Once again, I probably should turn around a little bit more often to see where they are behind me, but also, I rushed that. I'm also used to this Warp Blast having a bigger radius. Um, the radius isn't as big as what I'm used to, because that thing would have died. But uh, I don't get to eat it. I get flamethrowed, and this is a bad mistake right here. I haven't actually taken that much damage so far, but once I walk through this, um, that takes off like a bar of armor, basically. I shouldn't have walked right through that. I should have let the hunters take that damage instead. I don't land the abduction off. Um, I think that right there is just bad luck. I'm, I'm not really sure how I could have aimed that a little bit better, but... Anyways, I see food all over the place. I want to eat it, but I can't. So I'm trying to apply a bit of damage. Because Kyra is shooting at me with her flame grenades. And, uh... If I can get enough damage off on other players, then she'll be forced to heal instead of shoot at me. So I am taking quite a bit here. There goes all my armor, and now I'm actually taking health damage. But it's okay, because the dome just went down, and I'm going to get away. I get a little bit of chip damage on the way out. It's fine. I've really not taken much health damage at all. So, let's talk a bit about that dome. I did good. I, I mean, I could have done better, but I still did good. I didn't take that much health damage at stage one. Now they're still right on my tail, it sounds like. They're right on my tail. I'm trying to find food to eat at this point. I'm not getting very lucky. There's some food over there, but I don't want to turn around. I want to just keep moving forward. I know Sunny's in their team, so she's boosting some of them. And there he is right there. I go for the abduct. What do I get? I get that creature instead. That's bad luck right there. Let's watch that one more time. This was the right move. Alright, I'm going to give myself credit. This is the right move. The right move is to abduct him. I just get unlucky because the creature's in the way. See? Now I move in. Doesn't That doesn't do damage to him. Look how close he is to me. I got two points in Warp Blast, so... I'll, I gotta get used to the changes to the Warp Blast where the range on it isn't that high. You really gotta be more precise with that Warp Blast if you want to do damage to them. But with the travel time and the, the delay and the damage, it gives good hunters more time to dodge and get out of the way. 
I think they've got a movement speed or the jetpack bonus there. I'm not sure which perk that is yet. I get a slash off on him. He dodges up. I want to pounce him. I can't. He dodges straight up. Come towards him again. He dodges straight up. So I just go away. I eat a tracking dirt. So I... Even though Abe uh, usually has a bit of a harder time, so this is Abe right here. I finally land an abduction off on him. I pull him in. This is it. Now I'm going to actually take this guy out. Look how good he dodges me, though. He's up. I miss. That doesn't hit. Miss again. There, that one did some damage. Try to get a sneak attack. Doesn't work. Trying to get him. Look at how frantic this is. Like, it's so frantic. She gets her uh, healing burst off on him. And I'm thinking, good grief, I just want to hit this guy. Get the Warp Blast. I'm very lucky. He falls on me. I hit him again. Mid-air. And I get away. That was tough. But, again, I'm giving myself a pat on the back. I did that well. That was well executed. It's a tough match. This is a really tough match. I see a body over there. A big body. I want to go eat it. And it's decayed. Alright. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and evolve. Now, I'm not sure if I had the tracking dart on me at that point. I may have been able to continue running and actually get some distance to evolve uh, without uh, getting hurt. But I know that his dome is still on cooldown, so even if he, if they do catch up to me, I can just get away here. There we go. So I just get away. Now I'm going to come back over here and try and get some food. Now, one of the things I'm learning from watching this replay, though, is that there's not a lot of food on this side of the map. Most of the food is on the other side of the map. There is a bit of food near the middle by the river. But uh, there's a, a watering hole on the southwest corner of the map. Remember this creature? This is the creature that blocked me from abducting the trapper earlier. Now its body is still here, so I get to eat it. So I get a little bit lucky in that regard. Kind of. I guess there's a silver lining to that cloud. Still looking for food, and I see him and I go, okay, you come forward, I'm going to come after you now. Now, I used up the last of my stamina, if I had one more, I would have warped up there, but I run out, I get close, it's too late to use warp blast, if I do, I'm just going to get caught on this corner, so I got to climb. Climb up top, try to get that stealth attack, I don't get it off, she does a good job blocking that. Come forward, I'm hitting Sunny. Sunny's cloaked in front of me, I can hear her screaming. There's their medic. And I know that I have decoy. So I'm going to come back here to use the decoy. In conjunction with uh, Supernova. So the Abe there... I'm going to press the spacebar to pause now. Abe is launching his... Uh, using his support abilities. He launches the tracking dart at the... Oh, I think I may have already hit with the tracking dart, but he's got the tracking dart on the, on the other creature. I really want to take that Abe out, but it's not going to happen. Not right now. That shield drone and that Sunny are really screwing with me. This was a bad play on my part. I'm going to go back one more time. Okay, I see that. I'm trying to decide what to attack. I Warp Blast in this direction, and here's the misplay. Right here is where I should have detonated it. Right here. Provided that, hopefully, it actually has enough radius to hit these two items. It would have blown up this, and it would have hit the hunt, the trapper as well. Look at this. They also have a, a bonus as well. I'm not sure what that bonus does, but they've got buffs like crazy. Like They're taking out all of the buffs on the map. Uh, they had a different buff before. I'm not sure if that's damage resistance, it might be. So that thing doesn't last for very long, but it's long enough. And the uh, dome is up. Get a little bit of food. 
my side. I got a little armory to try one more time to get some damage off. Daisy doesn't have the buff, or Disty doesn't have the buff. And I think, ah, uh, okay, screw it, just get away. Just get away. So I'm still tracking Darren. This is where most of the food is, it seems. Is somewhere is around here is where the three meats are. There's a lot of four meats in here. And I got some armor. I'm still at stage two. I haven't taken any more health damage since stage one. And as I'm going around hunting these things, I'm thinking there's enough uh, aggressive wildlife here uh, to pose as a threat for the hunters. So I decide that I am going to fight here. This is a really good play on my part. I pin him between me and that pillar. Get the warp blast off, take a good chunk of his damage, his health. Now unfortunately that was followed up by a misplay right afterwards. So we'll watch that again. I released it too soon. Now I'm not sure if I can aim any higher than that, but if I could aim a little bit higher I may have gotten it. Or if I waited just a little bit longer. I probably should have waited just a little bit longer to get that ducked off. Now that was a good that was a good play as well. He didn't realize I was behind him and I did get an attack off, but he's getting out of range of that warp blast so he doesn't get hit. Now the shield drone is on him. I do get the abduction off, but that shield drone is still blocking the damage. I get him again there, and I also get the assault. He is getting healed a lot. Look at look at his health bar again. It's already back to full again. I get a little bit of armor off on there, but that's it. I get hit immediately afterwards. I'm about to lose all my armor. There's all my armor. Now, because of that burn damage over time from Kyra, I, I don't get to eat this. So it's not looking good. Now I'm taking some, some health damage, but the, the dome is up. I've lost a bar and a half of health. I'm about to lose about two bars in total, maybe, just from chip damage. Yeah, I've lost about two bars of health. See, it's a really tough match, man. If you have suggestions on what I can do better, Put them in the comments, man. I want to know what I can do better, because I want to beat these guys. I want to beat these players that are really good. Now, I see he's separated again, so I come in for the abduction. Look at this. Now, I'm getting better at landing this abduction. I aimed over here, but watch. I grab him. It's a little bit of a weird skill. The aiming on it's odd. Now, that, see how I did the two-handed attack followed by the pounce attack? I'm still trying to pull off the same stuff that you can do with Behemoth. This is, this, as far as I can tell, for all intents and purposes, this is a good Warp Blast. It, I aim right at him, and he gets right out of range, just like that. That's just really disappointing. Now I'm on their support. That's not who I want. I want their, I want the Trapper. So I go away, and I'm leaving to go get armored up. Next time I play in a map like this, uh, I'm going to spend a little bit more time in these caves here, right in these these rocks here uh, moving around because even if the hunters come in here looking for you it's easier to sneak around and get behind them and juke them in this area this area is just much more wide open and this is a spot where there's a good amount of food but there's a um, how would I say there's a uh, a lot of open sky up above so the birds will come in and uh, reveal your location but I need to spend more time inside the cave system as the monster player, especially as Wraith. <coughs> so I'm armoring up, I'm doing a good job looking behind me, and I want to take out this Disty. I get lucky. I actually get that, that attack off on him, pull him a good distance back, get a little bit of damage, not a lot though, and I want to get him. So I'm aiming here, go above his head, and I actually get him with that, so that's good. He's launching those things to slow me down, the, the slow grenades. Didn't get lucky there. 
go up ahead and I drop this. And it works out pretty good. I may have been able to finish Disty off right there, but I really just want to eat more food and get closer to stage 3. Also, they've been getting buffs. They've been getting all the buffs on the map. Like, when I get to stage 3, there are no buffs left on the map that I can find. So I think, alright, I'm going to go for Disty again now. And here we go. Two-handed attack, and now a pounce. This is where it actually works. He doesn't get to boost away. Pounce attack right on him. He launches his grenade. He has his grenade out in his hand. That's not going to make a difference. So this guy actually does make some misplays. He's not the best assault. But I get this off, thankfully, and I'm not concerned about getting domed at this point. I'm just going to get away, and I'm ready to evolve. That was the last little bit I needed to be evolved, ready for stage 3. I know I'm not going to get far. They're going to track me everywhere on the map. It's really easy to get around on this map, so I just go straight to evolve stage 3 back here. Three points in a decoy. I want that decoy to last longer. Not super concerned about getting domed. He's got me slowed, which is a bit of a nuisance, but that's okay. Get that abduction off. He's down, and I'm out of here. I launched that decoy to give myself some breathing room so I can go out here and eat. So these are all good plays. On my part, I'm doing, I'm making some good plays here, getting away. But uh, he's right on my tail. He takes a good amount of damage, not too much, so he's taking a little bit more. Now at this point, I probably should have stuck with this unless he drops his shield. Uh, there's his shield right there. So I get away. I'm leaving to go eat now. Maybe I should have stuck around and finished that fight, but I'm not too sure if that was... You know, it's kind of tough to say. I want to get armored up, so I'm going around. There's not a lot of food on the map, it seems. There's a little bit here and there. There's enough. I have eaten a tracking dart. I got a minute left before the before the uh, trapper comes back. So it's not looking too too bad. I've taken two bars of health damage, but I've also gotten two strikes on the uh, <coughs> on the trapper, and the trapper's dead. He's still going to be dead by the time I get to the power relay. I'm looking for a buff. There are no buffs. The hunters have done a very good job eliminating all of the buffs from the map. There's nothing for me to really get an advantage from here. So I just have no choice but to go straight for the power relay. And clearly they can see me uh, because I'm, I've eaten a tracking dart. Now they haven't set themselves up directly on the power relay, instead they've set themselves up over here. And some hunters like to do that, they, they think that this is a better place to fight. And it is to some extent because you've got these pillars over here, and we'll see what happens. So they're setting themselves up, there's support, she drops her drone right up there, which is a really good spot. He's shooting at nothing it seems. So I come in, and what I should have done right there was actually warp blasted right there. I didn't kill it. It takes more than just one hit to kill that thing. <clears throat> so this is something I'm learning. I, once again, trying to warp blast straight up, I either I need to test this out in game, but I need to shoot straight up with the warp blast because it gets stuck on these pillars and it doesn't work. Or actually, the first one was the abduction. This time it's the warp blast. Warp blast gets stuck down here at the bottom of the pillar. That's out of range. It doesn't get broken. He's in my face, but he gets knocked back, thankfully. There. I take that thing out. He's having a hard time hitting me. I gotta say, their assault actually wasn't playing the best. Try to go for the sneak attack, and I end up actually just launching over top of him. I launch that to try and get a little more damage off on him.
and converts this to medic, she needs to go out. She did a real good job dodging me there. I shouldn't have warped, warp blasted, or caused the warp blast to happen right here. Uh, you can cause warp blast to happen without actually warping by double tapping the button. So she's got her thing back up, but I actually do get it with that. Now I'm, I'm like, alright, I want to get away because I've taken a lot of damage and uh, I'm, I've lost armor. So I want to fall down in this hole. That's That little like shake sh back and forth is just me just being frustrated, being like, oh, I just want to fall down this hole. I turn around and I see that. And I go, I'm going to finish that guy right now. Now I'm going to go away. Oh, wait, now there's a dome! Okay, looks like I'm gonna stay in here. And that abduction uh, was really unlucky. It's the right play. I want to get that trapper down. It looks like it's gonna hit him, but it doesn't. He gets away. Should I have camped the body? It might have been the right thing to do. This is really unlucky right here. Yeah, he's back up. Now I'm taking health damage like crazy. Look at my, look at my, my health bar just melts. It's just melting. Now I'm just panicking. Now I'm just pan I'm like just trying to do anything just to try and avoid taking more damage. I take that thing out, climb up top. I want to go up in the air because I know it's a little harder to hit me up in the air. I use that de I use that ability while I was up there mostly because I know that it makes you fall slower to the ground and I want to stay up high out of range of his uh, flamethrower. But he's doing a good job f flying up into the air and using his flamethrower while I'm up there. So I actually accidentally grabbed him and I didn't even mean to do that. It doesn't really do anything anyway, it just kind of momentarily stuns him. I go back up, I launch the supernova, and then I launch the decoy, and then I back away. Hyde is in the confusion, is attacking the decoy. But I think he figured out that I'm over here. And now I'm just trying to get away. I'm slowed down because of the stasis grenades by Abe, but I'm still able to get away, but they get a little more chip damage thanks to those stasis grenades slowing me down. I only got two minutes left. I want to get a little more armor. Just going to get just a little bit more armor. Really wishing that I could get a buff. Anything, a damage resistance buff, a movement speed, anything. There's nothing out there. Uh, so I just turn around and I come back. Alright, let's just do this. Now I notice they set themselves up right on the power relay instead of being over here. They go in for an abduction. Yeah, really not that effective. The duck doesn't do enough damage. What I should have done was just warp blast it into that thing at this point. I'm trying to be conservative with my warp blast, but... It doesn't pay off. I'm on fire mostly because of uh, the grenades from Kyra. Now I do get that thing. I'm, I'm falling back down. I launched my decoy to try and mitigate this damage because look how fast this is melting. But he knows which one I am. And watch my uh, watch my decoy. What's it doing? I, I just get, I lose my patience, I'm like, it's not doing anything, so I'm just going to warp away. I warp blast in. Trying to get out of that stink grenade. There's another one of those shield drones again. I'm taking damage as I'm taking out the shield drone. I can't get the abduction off on him because there's stuff blocking my way, but I want to take him out because he's trapped. I think, screw it, go for this. Get a little bit of damage on him again, on her. Launch that with the decoy again. It really does do a lot of damage. It is a good offensive tool. I get her killed, but it's game over, man. A bar and a half of health is just not enough. 
Especially with Sunny shooting at me. I'm trying to take out a shield drone. I see that he's going for the revive, and I'm like, no, 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 no. You're not getting that revive. I back off. I'm down to, like, less than a bar of health. It, there's just... I don't really think there's any way I'm going to win this. The abduction doesn't land. He drops his stink bomb. I go right into it to try and get him off. And shield it, and I'm dead. What could I have done differently? What could I have done differently to win that match? That's what I want to know. So, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, I tried to comment and really break it down as much as possible and speak about what I did right, what the misplays were, what the hunters did right, what the hunters misplays were. But if you have any suggestions, please put them in the comment section below because I seriously want to get better at this game. I want to beat those hunters that have eluded their hunters. All right. Anyways, I'm sure you can <laughs> hear the frustration just seething through my teeth as I make this commentary. But uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm Flying Scorpion. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.